we're gonna talk about 40 of the best free add-ons available for Blender today. Number 41, Nature Clicker. This add-on is great for a quick and manageable process of placing nature assets with more control than particle systems. You can choose any asset with your Blender scene and you can place objects with randomized rotation, skewness, scale, and so on. You can also let the assets always stick to the ground or change the surface they will be applied to, such as walls, roofs, and so on. Number 40, Blender GIS. This add-on uses satellite data to create cities and exterior environments. It is very similar to Blender OSM, except that it is free. However, it can be a little bit more difficult to use, although it is one of the best Blender add-ons in this field. Using it, it is possible to create cities instantly with bridges, rivers, railways, and tens of thousands of buildings if needed. Number 39, Animation Extras. This add-on represents a very good 3D onion skinning tool in Blender without any shortcuts. It works using meshes that are drawn directly to the viewport using Blender's BGL and GPU modules. Also to make sure that your animation project is not going to be slowed down, the add-on doesn't generate extra meshes and no extra materials, which means you will be animating at relatively the same speed. Number 38, Spread Objects. This Blender add-on allows you to spread objects that are joined together. This is very useful in many different situations, instead of having to do it manually, which is not only time consuming but annoying too. It takes care of calculating the number of columns, rows, and spacing needed between each object to another. These objects will also be spread along the timeline to help you quickly change the distribution if needed. Number 37, Node Wrangler. Node Wrangler is an add-on that comes with Blender. Even though it is an old one, it is one of the best Blender add-ons and one of the most powerful. There are also so many shortcuts that can be used to be able to do different things. Things related to working with nodes, such as connecting textures, switching nodes, changing levels, colors, and so on. Number 36, Chalk Style Wireframe. This add-on provides a quick workflow for creating ambient occlusion, chalk, and sketch type of rendering. It is a free tool for doing quick wireframe renders easily, but there are two great paid add-ons by the same developer capable of doing the same things better in addition to a ton of other features that can help you save time and get cool looking renders. These add-ons are chalk style and sketch style. Number 35, Archimash. This add-on comes with Blender and allows you to create a lot of architectural elements. For example, rooms, house structures such as walls, doors, column stairs, tower roofs, and more. Archimash allows visualization artists or architectural designers to save time and have a better experience overall, especially if they don't want to deal with complex or boring technicalities of modeling. Number 34, Mirror Selected Bones. This add-on is ideal when you have symmetrical model and you need to paint weights with the X mirror option. It allows you to easily mirror the weight paint data of bones and their corresponding vertex groups on the other side. With this add-on, you can project your working status to the post bone on the other half of your project. Number 33, anti -seam. This add-on was designed to solve a time-consuming problem when working with materials in Blender. It basically helps you make any type of texture seamless without having to do it manually yourself hours on end. With the help of certain tools and parameters, you can easily change and control how the duplicate textures look at the end of their seams. It requires a little bit of work to make it look perfect, but the results look great and it is way less time consuming compared to doing the work manually. Number 32, Archipack. Archipack is a Blender add-on that contains a collection of parametric primitives for Archivis. It is an easy way to create some of the most needed elements in architectural visualization work, such as walls, windows, doors, floors, stairs, just to name a few. You can also use presets like the type of stairs or windows, which gives you a variety and a lot more options to architects and designers who don't want to spend too much time modeling. Number 31, Simple Tabs. Simple Tabs is a Blender add-on that was created for the end panel only. The developer is focused on the end panel because it is usually a busy place where there are many add-on panels. Basically, it represents the majority of the tabs in Blender. The concept of this add-on and the features are simple and they include the ability to reorder the end panel tabs, rename the end panel tabs, and consolidate the panels as well. Number 30, Molecular Script. This is a particle collision add-on that makes particles collide for creating certain types of simulations and effects, in addition to particles linking as well. 
So overall, it can use particle self interaction, interaction with other particles, and all the types of linking that the script supports, like linking at birth and linking after creation. Number 29, CubeSurfer. This add-on allows us to rematch a particle system in real time. It works nicely with the molecular script add-on that was originally created by the same developer. Using them together, it is possible to create amazing effects and high-quality simulations. Number 28, Power Save. This add-on was created by Master Xeon and Team C, the developers of popular add-ons such as Boxcutter. As the name suggests, it allows you to easily, smoothly, and with much more efficiency save your progress in addition to more options compared to other saving options in Blender. For example, it has the ability to save instantly, similar to save states, without dialogue or interaction needed once installed. Also, the generic naming system is capable of avoiding unintended overwrites, ensuring progress is never lost. In addition to that, there is a 3D viewport notification icon near the top bar for visual awareness of safe status, just to name some of the features. Number 27, Rig UI. With Rig UI add-on, you can create custom pickers in Blender. It lets artists create a picker by creating a simple 3D shape in the viewport and linking them to parts of the character rig controls. There are actually two main methods of working with rig controls, especially when it comes to 3D characters in animation on character control versus animation picker. When it comes to complex characters, it is very hard to beat an animation picker. That's why rig UI is gonna be a good option. Number 26, Mirror Tools. These are modern modeling tools for retopology. Some of them were taken from Blender, like Curve Stretch and Curve Surfaces. But Draw Extrude, Linear Deformer, and Curve Guide tools were inspired by Lightwave and Moto. This uses a lot of add-ons and the tools in the industry are inspired by other software and other tools. In the same vein, it's one of the best Blender add-ons that are truly free. Number 25, True Mars. This is not just a model of Mars. You can say it is one of the best Blender add-ons that can help you on creating your perfect planet Mars. It works using a bunch of very high quality textures from NASA and Sphere, but it is professionally done and there is a high resolution version with 24K textures and there is a low res one with 8K textures for those who prefer speed over accuracy. There are also procedural dust storms and they work just fine in EV, which is Blender's real time engine. This will allow you to see how your planet is being modified in real time while you are changing the settings without having to render every time, which is fantastic. Number 24, Loop Tools. It is a useful add-on that comes with Blender, and back in the previous versions, Loop Tools was the only way to get some important hard surface stuff done, but now there are many other alternatives. The add-on has a lot of operators for turning any number of edges into circles, making sloppy loops into perfect curves, flattening things at strange angles, just to name a few things that Loop Tools can do. Number 23, Check Toolbox. This add-on can make your life easier by highlighting the information of models that can be problematic later if you are not aware of. For example, object count, isolated elements count, double count, and so on. All this happens in real time through shading colors of models in the edit mode. This will help you keep an eye on important information while doing your work. Number 22, Bull Tool. This add-on is a nice way of creating complex Boolean effects in a simple way. Like a lot of other tools available for Blender, it is free and available for all Blender users because it is a built-in add-on, but it can be a very effective way of starting to use Boolean tools before deciding to move on to more complex and advanced add-ons. Number 21, Boomerang Sculpture Pencils. This is a fantastic add-on for sculpting, anatomy, and organic modeling, but it can also be used for prototyping and concept sketching. Its concept and tools are simple, but it is very powerful and creative. It has a traditional approach to sculpture because from a set of clay pieces, it generates a unified sculpture. Actually using this approach is different, but interesting and refreshing. The add-on comes with seven brushes, and the features it comes with include parametric clays, instant brushes, fast remeshing, and a non-destructive workflow. Number 20, Building Tool. This add-on is interesting because it makes it possible to create nice buildings or houses really fast by adding procedurally some of the most important building blocks of buildings like floors, windows, railings, doors, balconies, and roofs. 
This add-on works using the same principle as the add-ons that are used to create or place intricate details on our service models, but instead of that, it is used to generate architectural elements real quick, and it is especially good for quick architectural visualization. Number 19, Bygen. Bygen is a free and open source add-on designed to simplify the process of creating non-destructive, generative modeling styles in Blender. It also lets you use generative modeling styles on existing geometry. It makes heavy use of modifier stack to provide various forms of mesh manipulation to let you achieve a variety of geometric effects. Through the use of a simple interface, you can either generate new objects from scratch or apply styles to pre-existing objects. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.